Not able to make it if he loses one, two, three, four, and the test is the corner. Abe Zaydi maintaining his post position with Michael Lee in second. Third place is time number three of Everly. So we got one, two, three cards of Jamaica and fourth position and also a Jamaican card of David Sorbel Jr. sponsored by Runway Tours. Number four on the grid is Sean Lou. In fifth position looks like Roger sitting around from here. Uh, negative. That number As they come up and down the straightaway, that's Abe Zaydi followed by Michael Lee, Everett Lee, David Sauber Jr., Sean Lou, and the number 35 of Doug Donald. Coming out and into the city, we have six days of the number 97 of Mike Zimmer, Peter Ray, Roger Sinarine, and the number 15 of Arthur Muyong. First two drivers, Abe Zaydi and Michael Lee, demonstrating their team test tactics as they take off and demonstrate a, a fast lead as they pull an easy 20 lengths over third and fourth place of Everett Lee and David Sorbel Jr. Last remember, ladies and gentlemen, the black flag for number 67. Number 67 getting a black flag. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to be put off the Just taking Abe Zaydi as Team Pepsi and Esso takes over the lead and leads by a good 20 length. Down and through the G4 corners it's called and down the bottom straightaway. There comes a pair of S's and then down the, the front straight. Front straight, at the end of that straight they're getting 80, 90 miles an hour. These big juice engines as they're called and the Super 100 class. And he gets a second black flag. That means he has to pull off the track. And David Thomas is constant, constant nudging him. Just trying to get to ever to Michael Lee's psychology, get to him, put a, a little stress on him, make him make a mistake. Down back to that popular G-Force corner, at the end of the G-Force corner, they widen the exit of that corner. So you have a faster exiting speed and therefore a faster coverage of the bottom straightaway. They've also widened the first corner, ladies and gentlemen. You see the concrete patches on the left, on the right hand side correction as they go. 10th position on the grid. That's a very, very respectable time. That's you know, moving pretty fast. As they've just completed their seventh lap, three laps to go. Abe Zaydi has got the, he's using every inch of track. He's making his curvy race track as straight as he can manage. Pressure on Everly, teammate at the teammate. They're doing their sponsors, Pepsi and Esso proud today. As they go bumping each other, you'll see yellow paint on the front of Abe Zaydi's blue bumper. As they go around, bumper to bumper, trying to get through this, this event. Down the back straight and up through the edges. Will Abe Zaydi be able to get a swing shot move? Get a little more speed out of that corner and make the pass and end of the He gets into his draft and pulls the inside on a long time. And he's going to make the pass stick this time. As he pulls and makes the pass go with two laps to go. At the end of this lap, ladies and gentlemen, they should get her white flag. As Michael Lee looks down and makes another adjustment to his car radar. Will he be able to get a little more, another ounce of power out of that SL Super 100? Now, as if Brady opens up a two car lead, Michael Lee has got two laps to make this work. Will he be able to do so? As he not seem to get something straight down there. As you see them, ladies and gentlemen, put their arm down and make small adjustments. You have to remember that these engines are so finely tuned that for full speed adjustment, they lean the mixture a little bit for that little extra speed down the straight, which allows the engine to run a little hotter, but you get that little extra ounce out of the engine. And with the extra speed of the straightaway, that little cooling makes a difference. And through this again, it's now or never. Will Michael Lee be able to make the pass? I don't think so. Well, you know what they say, it's not over until it's over. Coming down and through, Abe Zaydi, Tom Taylor Weavey will take a victory in this one. Abe Zaydi followed by Michael Lee in third position is Everett Lee. Fourth position is number 35 of Doug Donald. So we have one, two, three, four, five Jamaicans and then a Trinidadian falling in sixth place. Peter Ray with a good start and a good driving as he continues down and through. And down in 40 second flag is Abe Zaydi. 
the blue number 20, Esso and Pepsi sponsored Super 100 go kart. Are you stopped? And you're gonna get a handshake here. They're gonna come around and say, ah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's good sportsman for you. Third place goes to Everly, and fourth goes to Dog Dog as they shake each other's hand and do sportsman like and continue. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next race will be another Yamaha race. But before we get into the next Yamaha race, we're going to have a quick presentation for the last two races. So we'd like a representative from BWIA and a representative from SO Super 100. The SO to come and make this presentation in the perspective classes. And we have to give a special thank you again, ladies and gentlemen, and I will stress this throughout the entire day. Without the sponsors, we couldn't be here. driving here at the Palisades International Raceway. Paul Williams holding on to a slim advantage still. As they go by the Esso Supra billboard, out of turn number 11, still in front, and holding on to the lead is Paul Williams in cart number two, taking the white flag. Kevin Minor tries to move on the outside, Ricky Fong Yee and Mark Evans behind them. That's Tony Chin and the visitor in Peters. One lap to go, and Paul up. Kevin Minot really driving hard at this stage and he's trying to get by Ricky Fongi and Mark Evans in cart number 28 as they come out of the acid rushing towards the 10th turn and the red stripe billboard it's our race leader Paul Williams in cart number two being trapped all the time by the very experienced and skillful Minot as they come into the straightaway. Minot tries to move on the outside, but Williams is hanging top, and that's just as exciting as you can get it. Coming out on top, Paul Williams just hanging off the challenge of Minot in card 71, and finishing third in 77, Ricky Fongi, and in 28, Mark Evans. Well, that smashing stuff here at the Paddy International Raceway. As Paul Williams had to pull out all the stuff to keep out the very experienced Kevin Minot in cart number 71. So, just recapping the winners there for you. Coming out on top, Paul Williams after a running second behind Tony Chin in the first event. Well, Paul Williams goes one better, and that was an excellent bit of driving uh, confrontation between Williams and uh, Kevin Minot in cart 71. Round of applause for our winner in cart number two, Paul Williams. is Mark Zatir in High Rev Engineering. Mao Leaf by Pepsi is fourth. And as they come down towards the start finish line, they say start by side. And they wait for